like how they won't tell you that Final Fantasy X is about racism. About racism and religion is bad. Is that what it's about? What game is it? Ten. I did not know that about ten. Yeah, ten. It tends underlying uh, underlying tone and theme is that hey, religion is a lie. <laughs> wow. That sounds like a lot of games, honestly. That sounds like a lot of RPGs. A lot of, a lot a lot of JRPGs of, end with killing. Sounds God. like a, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which is like the 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 main religion of whatever denomination they're at turns out to be like a massive cult, and then they have to fight them as well as like the main bad guy at the same time. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the isekai. Uh, pretty much the. I mean, well, actually, Final Fantasy Ten. Yeah, Final Fantasy Ten is technically isekai. Oh no! Te- te- oh. Te- technically, it is. Really? In yes. What about yes, Ten is an isekai? The fact that Titus goes from his world to another world. I I mean I, I guess. Where does he live? Destiny Islands. No, he's oh. not from King. He's not from Kingdom Hearts land. I was hoping that he was Constance. actually from Kingdom Hearts. It's a very. Uh, strange isekai uh, due to story reasons. I see. What constitutes an isekai? Uh, being, being, being sent from one world to another. another world. There you go. Transported to another but world. But hang on. What constitutes another world? Something that if is entirely completely England, different from yours. If, if I, I get yeeted over to England, I get deported <laughs> to England for some reason or another. Is that an isekai? If I yes, go to a McDonald's, American will be is that isekai? Yes, that is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Going to McDonald's. I thought it was something isekai? real cursed, and that one's not going to get said on the podcast. All Never right. mind. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Oh, oh, baby. I appreciate your discretion. <laughs> nice to, it's nice to know you can draw the line somewhere. I won't. Will you? I won't. Won't. Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There is a line there. <laughs> you didn't cross it. Uh, what's so, up, peeps? How we doing? How over, our, uh, uh, how over last name. two? Yeah, we should really get around to that, huh? Yeah. Get around to what? Naming this. Uh, that is the name. We're about eighteen weeks we in. Maybe podcast. That's the podcast. Jeffrey. Name. Podcast name is Jeffrey. The podcast name is Jeffrey. Yes, I've decided that now. I uh-huh. see. So if I go Zeus to your is podcast, so he can veto it though. <laughs> so 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 okay, so if I go to your if I go to your Twitch page right now, the first thing I'll see is uh Jeffrey Pod <laughs> Jeffrey Podcast. <laughs> Jeffrey. Well it will now Jeffrey if I change podcast. it. Here we go. <laughs> Stupid. Ass. What a name. Jeffrey Podcast. Jeffrey Dahmer the Podcast. So this last two weeks, um, Brass cleared and I Yukov. cleared Yukov. Must oh, be yeah. Nice. Yeah, remember that, Brass? Did we I mention? There. I don't think I ever mentioned. Uh, I was out of town on my sister's PC. Really? Yeah. Huh. Nice. She well, ended you, up having a blue snowball, so I, I think a, that my You did a great job. I, you, you don't know how hard I was trying not to jump, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we were we had multiple whites during uh, ad space new cub because Brass would accidentally jump and then uh, pop a twister because he was animation, animation locked. Lock. Yeah, which was <sighs> pretty tragic. Were you were you playing Dragoon apart? Dragoon, Dragoon. Mm. <laughs> okay, if he if he did if he wiped us because if he was using repelling <laughs> shot, I I probably would have lost my mind. <laughs> That would be ridiculous. <laughs> it was like, I just, I have to use repelling shot here, guys. I just have to. I got to do it. It's part of my rotation. <laughs> it does no damage. It doesn't even do damage. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It interrupts my my GCD. So yeah. there's almost no reason to use it. Uh-huh. Almost like I'm not doing damage. <laughs> oh God. You uh, also, that would have been funny. I also saw. I also saw the elves are pretty much done with uh, Eve Volves. Yeah, we're basically. It looks like from the vote so far that most people want to be done for uh, for the for the tier. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
It's uh I have a proposition. Yeah. Not that you guys would go for it, but what my static is doing is we're gonna go and we're gonna clear every fight. We're gonna do a victory lap. Oh really? Yeah. Of... I don't think I don't think certain people in the in, From... in, in, in the elf static would actually be interested. <laughs> I I may may not. It's just a suggestion. But yeah, yeah. we're going all the way from one to twelve. Gosh. No, yeah. Just do everyone in order. Yeah, so I mean that sounds make... fun. I I don't think elves would be interested, but I mean we're doing it on alt classes as well, which is which is oh. one of the reasons we're more excited to do it. <laughs> yeah, there's I, some uh... people in elves that I I can almost guarantee you would be like no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can uh, guess yeah. who you're talking about mm. based on your based on your impression. Mm. Basically, <laughs> maybe you should DM me who you think that is. <laughs> I think you know. <laughs> Do they play this class? <laughs> mm. Is it this person? How how vague can we be by being like super obvious but not saying it? Uh, who steals like in general? Sorry, I, we should we should drop this conversation, but like in general, <laughs> thank you, Zazzer. We're talking about oh, yeah, that one VTuber that like has teeth, but they're sharp. Uh, hmm. then there's probably okay, a lot mind. that was on me, Gur- Gura? <laughs> yeah, I was saying, Gura. my bad. <laughs> Let me, I should change of, my uh stream to not just be a blown up and stretched out picture of Gubu and have. Maybe yeah, something <laughs> actually on the screen. I think my uh like I think splash page for my Twitch is just me standing in front of Warrior Light after we beat him in story. Ah. Oh. I think. That's a pretty good one though, to be fair. Yeah. Good image. Oh, let me get this picture up on the screen because this is very relevant. Oh yeah, I finally transferred a finally transferred one of my characters over to uh Famfrit so I can finally stop hearing my friends complain. Nice. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you over here? Why aren't you doing stuff with us? Because you, you guys, you guys weren't playing for like a long ass time. time. You just now got back in. Yeah. What, 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 what you expect me to do? Image. Is this image? What? Which one is this? I'm image currently six. in the process of trying to uh, break bad habits with people. Solid. Ooh, okay. That's that's good. Uh, one of my uh, one of my friends has the complete and total complete misunderstanding of how parsing works. Oh, really? Okay. And yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to break him up. That what he believes parsing is is that he needs to be one of the highest numbers on the aggro list. Oh no! And that okay. and that, con- right. and that constitutes yeah. a that constitutes good parse. I'm like, no, no, that's not. I mean, it's not. Uh, if someone, no, if, if someone, Barb okay, being high on the aggro list, yeah, imagine, yikes, because he 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 plays dancer, and he's currently oh, no. he, 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 he's currently trying to bounce around different jobs and trying to figure out what he likes. He just I, picked he just picked up samurai. I mean, you can't uh, go. You have to realize that you you're playing your job in you're parsing in in comparison to your job and not in comparison to other jobs, right? Like you can't play a dancer and expect to compete with a samurai. Like that's just mm-hmm. not how it works. Yes. Why he, isn't it, Komi? He, he should be doing just as much just, damage as that samurai. He has, plus the he buff has, I give to the other samurai. He just has a complete misunderstanding of what exactly parsing means, and I'm like, that's not. Yeah, yeah. It's well, not you, what yeah, that you, is. You right? rank yourself in comparison to your own job. Like, like, fucking. He expects that he's doing big damage because everyone else died, but he didn't. So he's number two in the aggro list, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm doing the most damage." Oh, I'm like, okay. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. That, that's not. That's not what that means. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's just a fresh sprout. He'll learn. He'll get he, there. He's been playing for about a year. <laughs> fresh sprout. He'll get there. He's Don't not worry first. about it. Dude, like he, 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 like he's like. He's actually gone. He gave like a like I told him like from was like if you want to do good damage and you need and you want to you want to you want to do some of the higher tier fights because I'm actually talking to them about I'm actually talking to uh, my friends about you know kind of making a loose static more or less because every, yeah. everyone's like everyone's schedule is kind of just all pretty much just all over the place. Yeah, some people yeah. some people are free anytime. Some people like me it just aren't. Uh-huh. Uh, one one of my friends I just got them a job where I work. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. So, like, I was like, maybe you guys would be interested in doing a very loose static, and I can kind of teach you guys some of the fights and whatnot. 
Yeah. Yeah. You can you can do Eden's promise. We could we can try that. Yeah. Zother I'll says do, I'll, I'll do what I remember. You should be ranking yourself in comparison to yourself. That's the only way to improve. That's fair. Yes. That is a very fair point, yeah. However uh, the parsing does give you a good met for, for me who forgets all the time. It gives a good yes. metric. Um it, it, like, like place like, in place, which is really nice. Like uh what the hell is it called? Act? A C T, yeah, A C T. Mm-hmm. Uh A C T yeah, more yeah. or less is just kind of there to not for you to be a dickhead, but to help you it's 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 a tool you can use to help improve yourself sure right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of course like yeah, yeah. you could sit down for what it, you could sit down for how many hours you decide to do and just kind of just practice a rotation of what you think what you think might actually help out whatever yeah. i mean there's other re- there's other resources you can go out there to go find to help you improve whatnot it, 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 it does like make it yeah like unfortunately it makes it very easy to be like if i am a dancer or a bard and i am on the top of the the act list to be like, oh wow, everybody else stinks, and and that's that's obviously why it's. I do that without ACT. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just look at your aggro list as a tank I, with the tank on. Yeah, I just play tank I and I go, best. look at my aggro. What I are you do, chumps I, I, doing? I, I get I get into a fight, an extreme trial or a a trial or alliance raid. And look at all the other tanks and see how far they are below me, even with their tank stance on. And I say, well, they're bad. <laughs> yeah. Either they died, yeah. they just don't know how to do their jobs, or, you know, they're just, uh, they're stupid. Mm-hmm. Says, My money's on stupid. Honestly, the nice thing about this game, and something I've always really liked about it, is you can get an even more accurate representation of your DPS if you look at potency per second rather than damage per second. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something also you can use to help improve yourself is reading your goddamn tooltips. <laughs> that is a really good strategy. <laughs> it's actually almost infallible. A friend, of, a, a friend of mine who just started recently, um, she likes Monk a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, currently going through the process of trying to explain to her how things work and what, how things do, whatnot. Uh, <laughs> then should you tell her to the, move the, closer to the server? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's step no, she, one. No, she lives in Texas like I do. So like yeah, we have we have one away in, from we have one in right Dallas. Now, I think. Uh, I think we really. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think in Texas we have one in Dallas. I thought they were just all in California. No, I want to raid uh, on top of the, of the Final Fantasy servers so that I can like quadruple weave. You just want to live inside the office. Is <laughs> yeah. that it? <laughs> yes. Everyone's like, "How is this? How is he? How is he able to move? Like, he has no server takes at all. Mm-hmm. No server it's like, takes. It's at like all. he's. In, it's like he's just I in am the game. The server take. <laughs> he just dock. Like, the comic. He just docks anyone he doesn't like. This guy's irritated me. All right, here we go. Here, here's his, here's his player information. Docks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh no, he's gone. What happened? It's like he DC. <laughs> boy Fridays out of here. <laughs> Oh no, the entire server of Balmung has been shut down. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> Get him out of here. Uh, I don't know, but my friend, like I said, she's like just kind of she's just kind of starting. She played back in the day, but she didn't really know what the hell she was doing. Mm. Uh, and then she stopped. But she has come back recently and she's played through pretty much all Shadowbringers now. Uh, she play, she she was she wanted to, she didn't want to buy a skip. She played through Heaven Sword, then Stormblood, then uh, Shadowbringers. She didn't like she didn't like Stormblood. Wow, kicker. Anyways, uh, <laughs> pretty much the main like the the, the 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 main thing I've been telling her is just read your tooltips. Yeah, I mean, read, reading your tooltips will help you go very every far. Every time you level up, you got to check them again. Yeah, mm-hmm. I or at least like look at your skills and whatnot as well. Especially if you're playing Black Mage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh god, if you're playing Black Mage, you better read the fucking pull. You better read them, guys. Number the one tip for new players: don't play Black Mage. Mm. <laughs> no, in fact, you should play Dancer because just wow, look at that shiny button. Play dancer, it's flashing play at dancer. you. Bro, I'm so good. I can just dance out of danger. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh god, I gotta show you wow, guys man, this, look at that. this dancer I had in my normal raid the other day. Hold on, I took oh, yeah? a screenshot of this. Um, Fun. It uh, it blew my mind. I I posted this in Shocky Bill. Here's a picture of it. Are you talking All about right. the, you talking about the dancer who just didn't attack? Uh huh. Check this opener. 
Hell yeah. Hang on, let me get this image on my stream. Wait. Oh, oh, that's 30 seconds into the fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I understand now. Uh-huh. Oh. Ah, I see. Yeah, Comey's just shared us a screenshot uh, of the timeline of the abilities of this dancer me... throughout the fight. 10 seconds in, this person casts Improvisation. And then 20 seconds later, at 30 seconds into the fight, they start casting Technical, sca technical Step. So for 30 <laughs> seconds, not doing any damaging abilities. That's yeah. amazing. That's, uh, that's amazing right there. Beautiful. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful well i you just you sit you you sit there and watch the boss for about 10 seconds then you just dance by yourself in the corner for 20 seconds <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately jump into tech step without standard step up i think oh, the funniest God. thing that i have learned about players in this game is that if they, they if they think they are doing well and they adamantly believe that with all their heart, they will fight you to the death hmm. if you try to tell them otherwise. I had a, I had, I had a tank uh, on fam. Uh, I was doing I was doing some stuff on Famfrit and uh, Super Roulettes, and I had a tank in Trials uh, who decided that they were going to. Pretty much after I started attacking the boss, because I was playing Warrior at the time. Yeah. Uh, we okay, we got Leviathan, and it's okay. like it, the, pretty much. Pretty much, we sat there for about like a good twenty seconds. Uh, I was like, "You want to tank or I want to tank?" And mm -hmm. nothing. Didn't say anything at all. I was like, "All right, cool." So go up, start attacking the boss. Get like midway, get mid, get midway into get midway into attacking and establishing aggro. They walk up, pop tank stance. <laughs> immediately provoke oh, i'm like oh yeah you mm. told me about this one i'm like mm, you're a lovely person yeah i'm going to fix this real quick and so <laughs> pretty and so pretty pretty much throughout the entire fight uh i would see a provoke go out provoke and that would also send provoke out and continue attacking the head while the tail is also smacking everyone else and killing everyone else yeah <laughs> And I just sit there laughing, and everyone's like, "Oh God, please, we're being killed! Oh no, please! <laughs> oh God, please stop this! Someone get the tail! For the love of God, someone get the tail!" And I look at the screen like, "Not me, <laughs> not, not today." Uh... I will. And then at the very end of the fight, uh, in chat, I see the other tank go, "Wow, why are you being such a dick?" <laughs> yes, yes, I am yes. the one. I am one. It's like the the number one thing you have to learn as a tank is to like, I am the not tank. Be, not be stupid. You do have not have a choice. Like eventually, once you get into not some afraid, my stuff, child. You, can, you can be okay and like give it away. Yeah. But the first thing you got to learn as a tank is I am the tank. It was like I was watching a video of somebody the other day discussing um, how to play black mage. As like the number one thing of high level black mage is you do not move. Everyone else moves <laughs> for you, and you must make them realize that. And otherwise, will, you can't be a good. Player. I will be doing the damage. I mean, now. there's you, Black you Mage will, has will, a lot of movement options. In fairness, that's true. But like, just like developing that attitude of I like, if you're gonna move for everybody, you're not gonna do damage. Yeah. You see a you you, you see a rescue go out. You see the Black Mage immediately go back to their spot. Yeah. I guess it's possible they had standard step up, but people were they didn't have the people wild this game. Initial hit, which is the people just pretty important. I don't I don't want to necessarily say it's it's like I don't want to say it's stupidity. But I will say that it is a complete and total lack of information and it's also ignorance. Yeah. And yes, complete and total ignorance. It's a good way to say it, yeah. Because even if you try to correct somebody on what they're doing, like, what are you talking about? No, I do like this all the time. No, you don't. Uh -huh. No, you really, really don't. Yep. And I mean, I no, I'm guilty of it myself, like being on the on the receiving end of that kind of stuff and being the stupid one. Mm -hmm. So uh, I try to keep an open mind most of the time. But I mean, there's those times where you just like, I get real stubborn and bullheaded and eh, ends up backfiring. <laughs> what was it? I think yeah, back in Heaven Sword, uh, me and a buddy were doing Sophia Extreme. Uh, and at that point, 
if you had people that had they, if you had people who actually had the higher tier gear, they were doing Savage. I believe E eight was the yeah E eight was the uh, the current level of Savage. Uh, if you had people that if you had if you had people that were actually doing that, and they actually had the gear for it, uh, with Sophia Extreme, you could just not tank swap. However, oh yeah, for people who were not doing the Savage tier, uh, people like me and a friend of mine. Because we were just kind of, we were just kind of just then getting into the game. I was playing Ninja. He was he was playing uh he was playing Paladin. Um, pretty much it was like, hey, we had the tank swap, and the other tank goes, no, I've seen people do it without tank swap, so I'm not tank swapping. Uh... So and 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 the, and the tank buster on Sophia gives you a it gives you a debuff that pretty much you would take more damage. Yeah. And so it, it can, it's so pretty, it's so pretty much just you know, just sitting there doing it, and then the tank swap, and then the tank swap part comes up, and like buddy's like, "Okay, okay, 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 okay." In chat, and yeah. just the other guy is like, the guy, the, 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 "Then we will die." That sounds so fun. And he's and just I'm like I've seen other. He's like I've seen other. He's just like I've seen other people do it without a tank swap. I'm not tank swapping. It's like yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's how you feel. Rip. Oh, fuck. You know what's funny? What's funny? Uh, last week, uh, my power did not go out. Someone instead cut the power off. Oh. So yeah, that right doesn't with, sound funny at all. So, so right when I was like trying to explain how things were going, to, how things were going to go with this podcast, uh, cut off, dead, power off. I was like, well, huh. you, uh, uh, you, oh, okay, all right then. Yeah, some, some guy was working on the pipes in this place, so like, okay, okay, so un, I mean, un, it was unknowingly, like or anything. yeah, no, yeah, un, unknow, right. unknowingly, he just cut the power off. And he's like, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I was like, you get, don't worry. Yeah, that, that doesn't sound too bad then. Would you like Just to know something? Would you, like, would you like to know something actually funny though? That's actually, actually, you know, I was a bit furious about. If I don't laugh, I will be very mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm throwing, furious. I'm throwing my, I'm throwing my computer chair away over, <laughs> over my mom's place. Oh, why, why what is that? Away? I'm throwing it away because I went over there. I want to say it was like a week or so ago to get my computer, you know, get my computer, my monitor, and stuff like that to bring over here, uh, right? And I get in there, and a bunch of my stuff is unplugged from my TV and whatnot. I'm like, ah, I see. My brother decided to come back here, bother my shit while I was gone because he knew damn yeah. well again, even though he knew damn well, I was probably gonna find out. You're mm-hmm. stupid. Whatever. Um, That's like the number really in, you left, right? It's your brother. Yes. Yeah. No, but uh, in the midst of me going through all my stuff and grabbing all my stuff and like packing it up and whatnot, um, I get over to a computer chair and looking around, I'm like, okay, a bunch of stuff, some plug, whatever, bullshit, blah blah blah. And I'm a bit I'm upset about that. But then I look down next to my computer chair, and there is a there is a tub of body butter. But what is body butter? Huh. It is a substitution for lotion. Why? Why not just use lotion? The main point being that it was right there next to the chair, and I didn't put it there. Oh. Okay. You can you can you can almost I'm, kind of I'm, infer what that means. I'm inferring yeah, what that means. I also I'm not laughing at this. I'm still not laughing. I'm serious. I'm 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 scared. <laughs> I am throwing my computer chair away I for feel, that yeah, exact reason. I feel you, fear in can. my heart. Oh, jeez. That is really gross. Yeah, I, I no. I'm glad you're moving away. Holy I was moly! Like, well, throwing my computer chair away. I'm also going to disinfect all of my stuff. Jesus! Ay ay ay! Yeah, I was, I, I was, I was pissed. I can Body only imagine. Butter. Yeah. This <laughs> is, is like, is this like butter. actual butter, or is this like a like a like thing, like a like a personal hygiene product? <laughs> oh, I assume it's an actual hygiene it's product. A, they just call isn't it. That, it is an actual hygiene product. It's okay. called butter. It's called butter. That's all it is. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pissed. That's, yeah, pretty, that's, pretty, pretty not cool. That's messed up. We'll say that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm in case, you... hey, wait, wait, hey, in case, hey, E3 happened recently. Yeah, <laughs> that was the thing too. I totally forgot. <laughs> didn't, what didn't we talk about that last time? We talked about, I believe, one of the conferences that happened at the time. I don't think we talked about the rest of them. Oh. We talked about our hopes for E3. What, what yes, we, that's, we what, would that's see. what we did. Gotcha. Well, I remember saying, hey, remember, uh, my, my, my big thing I was saying was, oh, get ready for uh, the Switch Pro to not be announced again. And that was the only thing that came true. <laughs> yeah, you were right. I have we're, heard that it's possible was... that they 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 are not doing it simply because of the silicone uh shortage right now and that people just wouldn't be able to get their consoles well ps5 well yeah exactly like ps5 so they're holding off on releasing that until it's in a more stable market dude but i'm so pissed off I'm, I'm i'm so i'm so incredibly incredibly angry right now that i don't have a ps5 and that i can't get one unless i buy one from a goddamn fucking uh Yo, scalper I, uh... I don't have much desire to get a ps5 right now actually Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrate. That's, That's true. true. I get that as as a U game. That is the, the, <laughs> the, the, that is that that is my main and sole reason for wanting a goddamn PS5 right now, and I cannot get one, and I'm upset. Yeah, I have to say, I have been doing my absolute best to just not look at anything for Integrate. Um, oh, really? Yes. So you I, haven't I, heard about I, how Yuffie dies? Yeah, man, it's <laughs> yo, it's guy. It's such a strange way they're doing it. I it's can't believe they off. did that. I was, can't believe they killed off my I was favorite shocked character. Shocked and horrified. Can't believe you would spoil this for me, Kevin. Call me. Come it's on, because man. Because I hate you. Ah, I see. <laughs> the truth finally comes out. <laughs> the truth come out. Does Comey is racist? <laughs> what? You didn't have to bring that into it. <laughs> No, it's too late. Because I'm black. Oh, God. <laughs> I, was talking to a co- I was talking to a co-worker at work. I was fucking with him because he didn't know because he didn't know I was black. And he just like, like one day, I don't know, one day, I don't know. He was like, dude, I was like, what's up? What are you? I was like, what are you? I was like. I was like, I'm, I'm a, I was like, I was like, I'm a human being. If, if that's what you're asking, he's oh, like, no, 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 no. What? He's like, no, no. What we'll race are you? I was like, Puerto Rican or black? He's like, okay. I knew you were Spanish. I didn't know about the other part. <laughs> he's like, he's I like, don't know. What? I don't buy it. And he's like, how are you? He's like, how are you related to your grandmother? Because I don't think you're white. And I was like, no, I'm Puerto Rican or black. And he's like, how are you related to your grandmother? And I was like, oh, through marriage. My grandfather married her. And he's like, oh, oh, that explains so much. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what did you, I was like, what did you think? He's like, I didn't, I didn't know what to think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, uh, yeah. And then I, I was like, and then, then a, and then I was fucking, and then I was fucking with him. But I was fucking with him like this. I was fucking with him last night. Where I was just like, I was, I was like, I was, I was like, man, you don't understand. I was born a hater, born a hater from the day I was born. <laughs> oh, no, you know, you know how you, I was like, it's instinctual. You know how it's, you know how you know how you come out the womb breathing and shit like an instinct. <laughs> nah, I came out the womb hating. Wow. Like, why are you doing? It? I was like, why are you doing this? I was like, I'm black. That's what you do when you're black. You just oh, hate. God. <laughs> you can't slap a black child's ass when he comes out of the womb because it's slapped back. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He he's like, what the, there he is. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, you know damn what the hell I'm talking about, motherfucker. I hate you. Can that be the title of the podcast, please? <laughs> <laughs> we call it the clapback co- the, the clap co- podcast. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Today on the podcast, Comey learns oh, about geez. blackisms. <laughs> Wait, please teach us some more. I don't know these either. <sighs> we'll make it an entire segment for the podcast. <laughs> Maybe the blackism corner. The blackism corner. <laughs> the blackism corner. Oh no! <laughs> Let's stop while we're ahead. Of this mm-hmm. probably a good idea. This point. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't know, but what? What? Uh, what? What? Uh. What what panels were you happy to see at E3? Uh, I was 
satisfied with Nintendo. Um, everybody can say everybody's satisfied with it. <laughs> but I was not satisfied with most of the others. <laughs> Square Enix's uh-huh. the Square Enix's conference it was, was so all right. bad for the most part. It I was, it was all I right. I thought it was really bad. They actually showed off games. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's a pretty low bar for E3. <laughs> that's <laughs> all I showing like off E3. video games. It's all it's all I would expect from E3. I don't expect anything else. And guess what? You'd be surprised. Other companies just didn't show off games. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Namco Bandai, like, like like Namco Bandai, they had an entire conference, right? They should have. They talk about. Game. They talk about. Why, uh, why did they have? I don't know. Yeah, sometimes when they do that, I'm just questioning. Or or, me, Cal, or Capcom's conference, I was like super excited. I was like, all right, what are we gonna see? Please be a new fighting game. Please be anything. I just want something. Blah blah blah. Isn't that nothing? Yeah, no. I mean, yeah. it was just like there were so many companies like that had their entire conferences and they were just so nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Square Enix at least showed off a bunch of new stuff. Yeah, like I mean I'm I mean I just was not very I'm not into in, the, in the Marvel, Marvel games. Galaxy starting to the Galaxy stuff. That one that, looks, looks that one looks all right. It, it looks like that fine. One. Compared to Avengers, that one looks it fine. It doesn't look like something that I'm going to play, so I didn't wasn't really interested. Are you interested. telling me you weren't interested in Chaos? <laughs> Okay, that game unironically looks kind of fun the, from the gameplay of it. I mean, the, I the, the story and presentation do not look great, but uh, <laughs> but the gameplay looks really solid. I'm chaos. It, it looks like there's a lot of potential in there. You're chaos. He's chaos. That's Garland. I'm chaos. We are all He's chaos. chaos. I have Dion, 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 Dion. Dion. He always wore such beautiful armor. Chaos. <laughs> it was so nice, except for the chaos. The hell was the chaos. Really, were you really happy to see uh, the total amount of screen time that 14 and 16 got was about two seconds throughout that whole conference? Four, oh, okay, okay. 14, I didn't expect them to show anything out because pretty much we have That's we right, have live yeah, we yeah. have live letters and fan fest for 14. Oh yeah, I don't I expect I don't, I, 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 I don't expect to see things at E3 for 14. I think they have. Sixteen will sixteen will be at the PlayStation event whenever that happens. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so. Because I think yeah. sixteen is going to be a PlayStation exclusive when it comes out, right? I think so. That's fair. Yeah. Fuck. Get fucked, Xbox. I, Xbox is just kind of Microsoft. taking the L for the last six years. Get fucked. I I think the fuck the fuck announcement fuck. that Halo Infinite was uh, to play multiplayer that was actually pretty big. I I mean opinion. I sure, but I'm also for wondering people that don't care. But I'm also but thinking, like, like, what are they planning on selling the campaign for sixty bucks or seventy bucks? <laughs> good question. Because I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I I guess we'll have to see. I'm assuming it's gonna have some like battle pass stuff. Uh, that's a close. Issue with I mean, battle pass. I don't. I don't, I don't have know. a lot of ex- experience with um these big release shooters. But the impression I get is that their campaigns are usually not very long. Nope. They're usually like probably eight hours or so is what i what i gathered yeah at the most looking uh-huh. at call of duty and yeah. i don't see I that selling a 60 dollar so like a 70 dollar price tag look guys we got kevin bacon for for to, to play one of the characters in the story mode that's cool right <laughs> yeah call of duty has zombies to live on which is i mean that's the amount of work they put in is probably worth the 60 dollars. but mm-hmm. yeah i wonder what they'll do for halo you know what shooter in recent history had a very good story? Titanfall. Titanfall 2. I should buy that while it's on sale. Two. I was thinking again. Titanfall that. 2 had a it's, it's very like good story. Right now. Yeah, it's yeah. really cheap. Can we play multiplayer good. with me, please? <laughs> I, I've, I've heard it's, I've heard it's really, really, really fun. Shit. God, it's so much fucking fun. The movement of that game is... I mean, what they said it was revolutionary. And I mean, it's it's just really fun. Yeah. It feels so good to move in that game, and you don't get that in a lot of, uh, a lot of competitive shooter games. Mm-hmm. But you just know, people you, don't play the game. You know what I love? That's what I don't I get. Love, <laughs> I, I, I love running around in Titanfall, right? Popping yeah. like three, popping like three or four dudes in a row with a shotgun, seeing you can see them get pissed off, and then like fucking grappling hook, and just like zip lining around a corner, immediately getting chopped at half by a Titan. Right? I, yeah. I don't feel. I don't feel angry about that. I'm like, that was fun. Yeah. That was good. Let's do it again. What, what I don't understand uh-huh. is why everyone who talks about Titanfall says they love it, and yet no one plays it. 
Like what? What's it happening? It's so weird. I don't Titan, understand. Okay, Titanfall Two was in a very weird spot because it was competing with Battlefield One. Was that? Th- I thought uh, it was. I assumed it was like Overwatch or something. No, no, no. They were competing oh. with that. They they released Titanfall Two at such a terrible fucking time. Uh, and it's when they were, it was competing with, with like, Battlefield. Really, that was the killer. Yeah, yeah, that was the killer. Well, the other thing is that uh, when Titanfall One came out, it didn't have a campaign. So yep. people thought of it as an arcade shooter, and then like the franchise itself was kind of broken because of that. Hmm. And as such, so, uh, and, and, and as such, the team pretty much got switched over to working on a. Uh, I forget the name. Apex. Apex Legends. Which they did pretty well Which, with. To be fair, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, they're, I mean, they're doing well with it. However, I want Titan. I mean, Movement. what I've heard is that Apex is basically like. It's like Titanfall, but but not Titanfall. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's the same universe. It's mostly the same movement. I still do prefer the the movement of Titanfall two better. You know, it was so uh, fucking sad when they showed off the new character for fucking for Apex, because oh. because the the actual cinematic for it is like her with her dad. Her dad was a fucking Titan pilot. And they show off the Titan, and then they show off oh, her getting in the Titan, and then some stuff happens, and they have to fucking they have to save her because she didn't know how to she didn't know how to run the pilot, and she didn't know how to pilot the mech, mm-hmm. right? And then and at the very end of it, she's like, "All right, tear the mech apart so I can make a body suit." And it's like, "You fucking just, mm-hmm. 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 dismantle the franchise." The other thing about it is that. The legends themselves, like each of the each of the mercenaries or whatever you play in, they're Apex. all Overwatch characters. What? Yes, but they are they they are each of the mini bosses you fight in Apex Legends. They're the mercenaries yeah, that you fight. Uh, sorry, in in Titanfall Two, like the the, the bosses that you do fight. Yeah. There are uh, legends. They yeah, are they're the, all the Titan titular pilots. Apex Legends. <laughs> They're not the same people, but they're like that same group of uh, mercenaries, all called legends. Yeah, so it's yeah, referenced yeah. in Titanfall Two. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like we said. Every everything from everything in Apex is just pretty much just uh, Titanfall, but rebranded slightly. Yeah, you have the same guns. They do function differently, most of them. But uh, except for the wingman, the wingman will not. The, the wingman, wingman. The, the wingman will not carry you. Stop that. <laughs> I love the wingman so much. You will never get a guy. sequence. You will never get that sequence in Titanfall Two where you get the wingman. And you just pretty much just run through all your gun shoots everyone in the face. Right. That was a great sequence. It was fun. Are you talking about the smart pistol? The smart pistol. Man? Yeah, you are talking about smart pistol. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Where it does the aiming for you. Right. As you as as, so as you as you parkour from wall to wall, zipping back and forth like Strider and fucking Marvel Two. And they have it in multiplayer, and it's like nerfed a little bit, but it still feels so good. Mm-hmm. They did a really good job of balancing that out. Titanfall just feels good. Give me more Titanfall. I played a little bit of yeah. uh, Doom twenty sixteen the other day for the first time. Ooh, oh, yeah. So How was that? That, that was interesting. I. I've, it seems like it'll be like very exciting once I get further into it, um, but it makes me really motion sick, and I hate that because oh, it seems like okay. a really like a really cool game and it's really fast paced and I like that a lot. Um, and you're always moving around and it seems challenging and enemies are all cool, mm-hmm. but but it just makes me really motion sick, which is really. I believe the fix. I believe the fix for that yeah. is you can turn you can turn motion blur off. I did. You did. I'm, yes. Wow. And it motion sick. You are just of the weaker bloodline. Well, I don't normally it's, get it's motion sick. Be, uh, you, 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 you cannot rip and tear. Apparently not. Can't rip and tear. I guess I'm sorry. We call me. We had to put you down. <laughs> what? Not no, too late. <laughs> oh, oh shit! How will you save hum- how, 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 <laughs> you, how will you save humanity and also uh, and also avenge your bunny if you cannot rip and tear? I guess I'll have to. He's got a blue point. Um, glue and. Chew. Please say something. Nice Just say something. Nice try. I... <laughs> Don't let that one sit. Move on. Please Just ignore that one. <laughs> oh, I, I, I would know that that was isolated. <laughs> it really was. So if any, so if any, so if any point in time, if anyone decides, to just go ahead and clip that. No. And just use that for whatever reason. 
Nope, too late. Don't nope, have to uh, do that's that. the title of the podcast now. Glue, glue and chew. Glue and chew. That is maybe the worst title of all time. Nope, <laughs> that, that, that's your fault. <laughs> Brought this chaos upon us. <laughs> chaos. It is your own fault, Comey. I Deal have to kill Comey. chaos. It's a uh, thirst, or what does he say? Darkness so <laughs> thick I can taste it. <laughs> does he really say that? Yeah. Oh my God, gosh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Lord. I've never wanted to play as a Chinibu protagonist, and I guess we're getting that. Mm -hmm. hey, it's hey, so hey, funny because hey. the actual, like, there, there have been some interviews, and Nomura was pretty much like, I wanted to make a game about an angry man. Yeah. <laughs> also, what people don't seem to understand is that um, that game is more or less kind of like a reimagining or at least a spinoff of Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, yeah, I heard that, that. that was so. That was if the first it thing so, it, so if it, it seems confusing, it's because Final Fantasy One's kind of storyline is very confusing. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Due to the fact that like it was like story is the story is told very sporadically. It's like Dark Souls kind of where like story is told very sporadically, and when it is told, you're kind of looking at your screen like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Mm, okay, okay. Like uh, uh, FF One, Final... really. Yes. Uh, FF, okay. Okay. So FF one's pretty much like entire uh, entire plot line consists around uh, you are stuck in a paradox. No, no, not, well, not, not a paradox, but a time loop. Uh, pretty much. Okay. Like you go and kill Garland the very first part of the game, right? The very yeah. first thing you do is, oh hey, Garland has kidnapped Princess Sarah. Go kick his ass. So you go and you kick his ass, and he's like, "I, Garland, will knock you all down," and then you proceed to beat shit out of him, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, it's like, "Hey, listen, the crystals are kind of going, the crystals kind of going nuts. We need you to, we need you to go fix that, right?" So you go through and you you, you go through and you re, you reawaken the four the the four the four elemental crystals: the fire, wind, water, earth, right? The classic Final Fantasy plot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, along the way, you kill four fiends. You kill a water fiend, an earth fiend, a wind fiend, Wait and a, a fire second. fiend. This right? is just Bravely Default. Oh, I think I not. think FF One ripped off Bravely Default. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Come on, you're not even saying you're uh, Jesus. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, no. Bravely Default. But what you find out is that the what you find out at the very end is that pretty you because you get sent like two thousand years to the past. That's a long time. Yep. Uh, turns out what Garland has been doing is he's been using the four he's been using the four fiends to go out and collect energy and stuff like that to then send him back in time so that he can redo the entire he can redo the entire cycle again so that he can continue getting power, then going back into the future, becoming Garland, then dying, and then going back into the past, becoming chaos, and going back into the future, becoming Garland, and so on and so forth. He's been bouncing back and forth, and finally you go you kind of you kind of end that cycle by going through and killing chaos. Huh. Um, I didn't realize how similar this plot was to Bravely Default. It's crazy, huh? So it almost sounds like I'm sorry, Bravely Default. Yeah, that sorry, that, that that kind of uh makes the, the obsession over killing chaos make more sense because like that's mm -hmm. his like fifth time to go kill chaos or something. Pretty much the uh, pretty much the uh, the no ongoing the, the ongoing yeah, the on the ongoing ideal of uh Final Fantasy Origins Stranger Paradise is that pretty much your character is stuck in that time loop and he can't remember it however he is almost completely and totally sure that man i'm pissed at chaos god i'm mm, angry i need okay. to kick his ass yeah so it makes that more sense makes... if you actually play Final Fantasy one <laughs> that does sound like a really good like world for a dark souls that should live in or like a roguelike mm -hmm. that sounds like it could be interesting so the funny, yeah. the, the the other funny thing I'm saying is that people are like, "Oh, it looks like shit. Why is that the only area? Because that's the Chaos Shrine. <laughs> that's literally the first it's area. Final Fantasy One. I think they like the. I mean, they're gonna... Everyone <laughs> it's like I've, I've been I've been seeing a lot of like, oh, this game looks like shit. It looks like a PS3 game, and it's like this game is still games that didn't show anything. We have a literal game that made a joke about showing nothing. That was the Outer Wilds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I do think that uh, Stranger Paradise visually needs an upgrade, though. It's, and, and, uh, and it, it's okay. The thing with Team Ninja, it, 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 the, the thing with Team Ninja, right, is that with, okay, the same exact team, okay, they're, they're pretty much the same exact team that work on Neo. Not to mention they're working with Square. 
Square will not stand for them to put it. It will not stand for them to put out a game that looks like shit. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. And 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 and, and, um, and, and, and and not to mention and, and not to mention when Neo. So when the first actual like gameplay trailer and like din demo came out for Neo, it didn't look great. But they kept putting out multiple demos, and they were like, "Hey, help us!" They they were they like pretty much like, "Hey guys, listen, play these demos, give us your feedback." And we'll start, and we'll continue to improve through all your feedback and what and whatever and whatever we necessary. Neo is a fantastic game. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it was a I, fantastic, it was a fantastic game at launch, and then two came out, and they continued to just update and fix the game, so. and like that. It, yes, I believe it is. I I don't doubt Neo that it, is, uh, it can be go a very good title. Uh, no, I yeah. I think that it needs a lot of work where it is right now, though. Oh, yeah, of course. I think uh, that game's still early at the moment. I if if what they're going for is is the, is the true and honest premise of the story, and there's not like some bait and twist or something, I hope that the game does not take itself too seriously because uh, I did not enjoy. Um, did you see the trailer? <laughs> I did not enjoy. I I yes, I did. Right. I but, don't think they're taking themselves seriously. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I that was the reason I couldn't get into Type Zero. Is that it? Just it's like, oh my god! Oh, type O is super serious. Is super serious, man. It, it's like t- it was too much. It was just like the fir- the opening scene is like, watch this man bleed out and die and scream for bow. three hours. And I was like, I I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and then everyone forgets about it. Yeah. And Ace is like, yeah, this man, sounds like something reading. Kingdom Hearts would do. No, well, Kingdom Hearts. Well, okay. Okay, so okay, okay, so the okay the premise of okay, the premise of type O is that got so offended. You should fuck up. Right, type <laughs> so like, so like the premise of type O is the fact that they have these crystals, right? Yeah. As as a Final Fantasy game would do, right? Sure. Uh, it is set in a world. It's set in like the Fabula No, like the Fabula Novus, whatever the fuck you want to call it, stupid fucking tr- the trilogy that the the thirteen spawn off of. Okay. Okay. And fifteen and fifteen was also part of it. Until they decided to break it away, because everyone was like, "Man, thirteen, no, 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 get it out." Um, pretty much. Uh, the crystals in that game work as such. Uh, whenever someone dies, uh, they make people completely forget about that person. It's almost like they never existed, so that you don't feel the sadness that, oh, hey, this person I cared about is dead. Instead, you look over like, "Ill, it's a dead body. Gross." So that everyone could fight the war, uh-huh. fight the good fight, and no one feels any sadness. But people sure as hell do get pissed off. So they like, or their emotions are suppressed. Yes. Okay. Mm. Especially the main cast. They're all like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, the, the main cast is like a bunch of like, uh, the main cast is pretty much like a, like a bunch of like enhanced uh, students, in which like they're the main ones going to the, they're the main ones doing all the fighting and stuff like that. Yeah. And they all and they all work under. Someone they call mother. I don't, I permit her name escapes me in the moment. It's like Alra. It gets like Alrosh or whatever it is. Alra. Alrosh, something oh. like that. Uh, yeah. but but pretty but, but, but pretty much they're just their entire thing is that you know we don't remember the dead. And so when they show you that scene, you're like, man, it's gonna feel real bad when Ace finds out the kid, the kid, the kid he was thinking about his brothers is dead. And you get the ace, and he's like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Who? Jesus. I feel like I just lost somebody. Oh, well. Hell, I kill people with cards now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just that I didn't get executed into well. It. If that was executed well, that sounds really good. But, like, otherwise, that, can, that could be real bad. It, it was, to me, it was like, it felt like. It was it's the point very, where I, was, I felt game. like I was kind of like rolling my eyes at it a little bit. It's a well, very I mean, dark, it it's a very like, dark uh, game. How Ethan Winters it's about is war. Resident Evil Eight, and like he's like, oh, his arms chopped off. Oh yeah, I'll pop it on. Or it's like his wife's getting shot at. Oh. He's like, oh. Anyway, <laughs> dude, they changed the scene where his wife starts getting popped. Instead, he he doesn't have that visceral like why, like the like the like like the most real like the most real reaction is someone just capping the shit out of your wife, like. They kind of changed the voice acting a little bit. He's they like, did. "Why? Why have you done this?" And like, but like in in like the first trailer for the game, he's like, "Why?" Well, what I thought 
I thought people made fun of the delivery on the initial trailer. It's probably why they changed it. I don't know it why it was it, that was like the most visceral, real like the the most any the most real I've ever heard a character be <laughs> about gotcha, a thing gotcha. that just happened in front of him. Because uh-huh. like he doesn't just like he doesn't just pop her like once or twice in the head. He unloads an entire full clip in her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Ethan's like, what? Why? He's like, bro. <laughs> I think that's my one complaint about that game is just that Ethan Winters gets over trauma so easily, which I mean, I I think is part of, I think like the virus he has or something like that. I don't understand the lore. I don't like that. Yeah. I, and I mean, like they're trying to make the game flow consistently. So having him just stop for a moment could uh, break up the game. <laughs> Brass wants but... every, every like two hours, Ethan stops and cries for 15 minutes and then the yeah, game continues. <laughs> <laughs> Uninterrupted cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan's, Ethan that would be a Jesse, bold Ethan's decision. Ethan's a great character in that fucking game. I think it would be really cool for a game to do that. To like, ex- I mean, I, I guess games have done it, like um, Omori or some other indie games, but like a main AAA title doing like some exploration of trauma would be interesting. Man, I fucking they tried that. It friend... was called The Last of Us, and people didn't like it. The Last of Us Two is trash. <laughs> Anyways, I still haven't finished it. Yeah, yeah. Someone I know finished it, and he's a fucking idiot. I'm going to finish it. I just haven't done it yet. I really I like that. that I think I someone, we, was really someone we all know finished it, and he has very, very unpopular opinions about it. Someone we know? He also has very unpopular opinions about Nier Automata. Who are we talking about? Hello? I'm lost. I'm sorry. I actually don't know either. It, it, it rhymes with Mallow. Ah! Oh, okay. My good friend Kahlo. Do I really know him? That's a great question. No, no, no the only there. person who does. The only person who does know him is Hifa. Not a. Can't say I'm a huge Palo Palo guy, but you know. You're not a Palo simp. Ah, uh, certainly not. <laughs> Dude, we had a fucking <laughs> we had an argument about uh, we had an argument about fucking Resident Evil, uh, because he was in fucking uh, he was in he was in Bren. Talk about how excited he okay how excited he is for a new a new RE game right, mm-hmm. but he was like, uh, he was saying something along to like oh he, he said pretty much like oh RE five is the best far is RE yeah. the best I RE game and, and you're in anyone who no one can tell me otherwise and I was like, you know as much as I like RE five it's not the best RE game it really isn't uh, RE four and like RE two are kind of like the best ones. Like story, like story wise, gameplay wise, and everything else wise, like yeah. they're like they're they're pretty much the best. Uh, but RE five also had a lot of controversy. <laughs> yeah, it's yep, the, yep. there it is. <laughs> the plot of for, Chris going for, to Africa and shooting black people was maybe not a good choice. It was not, <laughs> especially especially all the trailers leading up to the game's release it didn't show off the fact didn't show up until the very end that hey look you have a partner you have a partner. She's black. Her name is Sheva. She's from Africa. Look, please look. We're not. We're, <laughs> you, please, please, please. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so I can. The, I understand the, why it was a little divisive. The funniest thing about RE Five is that you have like enemy types that are just like you have enemy types that like they're okay. They look normal, but they have but like every once in a while when they're doing their idle animation, they have like the weird the weird RE like or weird RE zombie mouth thing going on where they have a bunch of cynical shooting out and whatnot and you're like, okay. That is okay. That okay, they're a parasite zombie thing. Okay. But then you have the enemy type of just giant black man, Mantumbo looking motherfucker, just comes in, just come just comes in trying to Kimbo slice you and you're like, that <laughs> I don't very colorful vocabulary. <laughs> Mutumbo looking guy, Jesus! <laughs> Big Mutumbo dude trying to Kimbo slice your ass, and you're like, There's just nothing remotely zombie like about you besides the fact you're trying to beat my shit. Mm. <laughs> he's, he's trying to demob me on the side of the street, like I hit, like I stole something from his ass. Like he's he just like they just come out swinging, and it's just it's just a fat black dude. Mm. It's just a fat black dude, and he just goes to punch you, and that's it. And you're like, I don't gotcha, gotcha. I don't, I don't think that's a zombie. I think that's just uh, a dude. Yeah. 
and then and then you and then you have and then you have the tribal natives that are they're wearing their that they're wearing the they're wearing the tribal outfits and and they're doing the jumping and you're like hmm 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 yes Mm -mm. i must shoot they are infringing upon the world and then they're trying to like and then they're like trying to speak the african language and you hear what to do Oh what yeah. did mummy say? <laughs> <laughs> What's a cool Did they they did, like tried to like make their own African language? Something like that, but like oh, everyone geez. makes fun of it. Everyone makes fun of it, kind of like the um, uh, kind of like the um, uh, the Las Plagas in RE4. Because hmm. like mm-hmm. they're all speaking Spanish, but like sometimes you kind of mishear it. In RE5, oh. like in RE5, the funniest ones that you hear all the time is like, "What did mummy say? What's a cool What did mummy say? What's a cool <laughs> It's like, yep. Mm-hmm. All right. What's That's... some Kool Aid? No. <laughs> What's some Kool Aid? <laughs> What's some Kool Aid? Capcom, how dare? Capcom, please. <laughs> and then they tried to vary up the enemy types, so they have like this one. They, they have like this one enemy type that's like he's like not black, but yeah. you look at him and you're like, he kind of looks Mexican. Mm, and then it's just a, yeah, it's yeah. it's like it's like the one it's like the one dude in there against like the horde of all of the African natives, and you're like, mm. mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> hell when you hell when you start the game, like Chris is like when you start the game, like Chris is like walking through town, and like you walk up and, 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 and like you walk up to like a group of people that are like beating something like they're like beating like something living inside like a burlap sack and like it's like reeling around and they're just beating the shit out of it and then when you yeah. walk up they like slowly turn around and like what's up <laughs> <laughs> and they just, they just don't they just they just don't say anything you're just sitting there looking in they're just like one of them has like a stick and he's like slowly cl- he's like slowly like patting his hand with it and like go ahead keep walking you in the wrong hood motherfucker Makaya says ah uh, yes hood. the United States of Africa <laughs> Bro, made by a Japanese developer, no less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yay! We need to become game developers and do it right. Like it's so funny because like we'll Ari, do racism it, right? It, we'll yeah, do I'll what? Do racism right. <laughs> I'll do. It Why don't right. we just not do it at all? Actually, <laughs> no. Racism has to be the main point of our games. I don't. I mean, I guess you could make this a game story is about, about hating white that. people. But I don't think this that's game is the... about hating black people. Okay. This well, game's we do hating... have a game about hating white people. It's uh, Wolfenstein. Those are right? German. Well, they're yeah, white. They're white right? people. Do you want to classify them as white? Do you want to classify them as white? Germans? Yes. What about the Jews? I mean, they're also white, yeah. Okay, what about I mean, Asians? Most... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know enough about this to speak on this, actually. <laughs> Haven't you well, heard? Serious Asians uh, are Maybe I'm mistaken. That was the biggest shock for me. Uh, like, I mean, growing up Christian, we had like the Jesus loves the little children of the world. Except and, for like, the yellow ones. No, that's that's part of the song. It's like <laughs> red and yellow, black and white. They uh, are precious in his sight. It's like, oh my gosh, yeah. Jesus. I hadn't realized. <laughs> Holy moly. So that was wait, wait, you said, wait, you said red, right? Yeah, red and yellow, black and white. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Teaching kids from a young age, make sure to keep yeah. them all separate. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. No, but he loves them all. It's fine. Don't worry about it's it. It's fine. Just they love, he if just loves pink, you. He, he just, doesn't love you. He just loves you if he just loves you in, in certain ways that, you know, you don't get as much love as, the, as this one does. Okay. Uh... We got to move on from racism podcast here. Maybe. Did you know the well, guy was E3? Is your God's white? According to let's go back to most, E3. Most European depictions. <laughs> go back to E3. Yeah. Uh, that's not E3. even a good topic. Doesn't happen in E3. Jesus. Capcom's pre- Capcom's E3 presentation was the most trash I've ever felt in my entire life about yeah. being about being a Capcom fan. Yeah. Oh, okay. What did they show? I didn't. Uh, I didn't have what. Nothing. Watching they showed. Very they showed little. the same trailer they've been showing for like the past three months of Monster Hunter fucking uh, Monster Hunter Rise, even though Monster Hunter Rise is already out. 
Uh, they talked about Monster Hunter Stories 2, which I'm interested in playing. That I game has play too it. many trailers. Yeah, they showed too. more of that in the Nintendo trailer. Mm-hmm. They keep on keep on showing the same trailers for it. Um, no, the they thing showed... is, they keep showing new trailers for like this game. That's like, like every week there's a new story trailer for Monster Hunter Stories, and I'm like, mm-hmm. this oh, yeah. game, I, I like. You're gonna tell me the entire story before this releases? Pretty, pretty fucking much. <laughs> yeah, uh, sounds about right. They showed off uh, the new Phoenix Wright game. Well, not okay. new. It came out in Japan, but never came out over America because of one of the, oh. one of the characters' names that they had to change. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. His new name is now Herlock Scholl. Wait, okay, in Japanese, right. was his name literally just Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Oh. He literally, it, because, it, it, because it takes place in England. And literally, it, 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 it takes place in England. It's back around that time period. And, Herlock, and the, Sherlock Holmes is just right there. But they couldn't I kinda, use. The, I kind of like they, Herlock they better, to be them. honest. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I learned no, but, a lot about the Phoenix Wright actual Japanese names, and they're like, they're like better puns in Japanese mm-hmm. than they are in English, which is really sad. Yeah, it it sucks because like Japan in their actual native in their na- in natural like native language, like they they will do some funny things. Like all, like like all the like all the Jojo characters are literally just the hey look at that it's 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 Sierra there she is right there, or you have Vanilla yeah, Ice or you have Jesus Christ. Yep, it's not but even then, a pun; it's just him. Yeah. yeah, but then like over in America, they're like you can't do that. They're like, all right, fine. Here's a stupid Copy name. Can we please copyright please... on Jesus? Who copyright Jesus? <laughs> The King James Bible did. You can't copyright King's a guy. That's a, that's a you real sure dude. About that? You can't just copyright somebody. No, you can't you, have like mine now. You can't like copyright. It's uh, like no, I, I it's like, like Soldier Boy. I really need the uh, DFCA to be changed. That law. I don't know I, who's going to start it. I need to jump on that train though. That need something needs to happen, my dude. We need to sign multiple Broken. petitions. That, we need to sign multiple petitions that tell you to go fuck off. <laughs> don't steal Wait. people's stuff. However, don't. Try yeah, to who kill decides us. what the stuff is? Like a cover for crying out loud! Like this person, as a musician, I work on a song. I practice this. I do a performance, which is a cover. I would yeah. consider a YouTube video like a performance. Mm-hmm. And because I'm using their song, that becomes their money, which yeah. is ah. So irked. Like, of course, pay them for their work that they did, right? Or like, let's have a different system where we can like give them money or something, but like full monetization. Yeah. Or or straight up, uh, felonies is what's being proposed recently in Texas. I think felonies for violating DMCA. Yeah. Uh, Felonies, (laughs) actual felonies that will ruin your fucking yes. They will ruin your life. Right. They will they, they will keep you from getting certain jobs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's like, we can also talk about. I mean, on a, on a different note, they're also trying to make uh, abortion a felony in Texas. Oh my god! Uh, which is also about, yikes. I don't care about that. You yeah, fucking, I do. I I definitely like. Do. You don't like, have to. But. Literally, it's the literally it's like, dude, let them do whatever they're gonna do. If they want to do it, sure, go ahead. You you're not involved. Well, yeah, you, but I mean, are, they want to be. That's the point. Involved. You don't need to be involved. It's a murder. They, they you shouldn't, they shouldn't be, they That's crazy. Anyways, I'll do what I want. If I'm going to go take a shit, I'm going to take a shit. You can't stop me. <laughs> don't want me. Kiss my ass. I'm I don't know if we should equate this together. <laughs> I'm equal. No, it's, it's, just, it's, 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 a, it's a situation in which, like, hey, man, as long as I'm actually not bothering you and it has nothing to do with you, don't bother me. Go fuck off. Yeah. If I want to sit down and look at porn, you will not stop me. <laughs> it does not bother you. I'm doing it in my own time. In my Downloads own Express VPN. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, I want, if, if, if I want, if, if, if I want to sit down and just be incredibly racist to a group of my a group of my friends, I'm going to be incredibly <laughs> racist to my friends and <laughs> nothing to say or do we don't have to do this. <laughs> I really don't have I, to I do. I do realize I keep saying uh, racism 
but I should probably switch to saying like prejudice because hmm. like they're technically different and i mean the prejudice is funny and not the racism <laughs> i think the racism is funny okay a twisted sick way yeah is it twist and sick or is it just that i don't feel any pain from it um i would argue that's still twisted and sick mm. listen okay look at listen okay if a dude walks up to me and calls me the air right yeah i will laugh in his face because here's my thing right Ooh, you use the mean way to say that i'm black that's crazy you got anything else anything I mean, at all that's that's one thing but like like uh other like systematic things are, are maybe hit you less but i would argue are, are more potent than now, just a dude walking up now, to saying the n-word now uh, Okay now, okay, okay, now, if you were like, hey, man, you can't drink from that water fountain, I'm going to drink from that water, i be like, no, fuck you, kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah. I'll do what the hell I want. Uh-huh. But, if, but if some dude walks up like, you're, you're an N-word, I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah? In that, that case, is? like, yeah. Is that, you got anything else? I can't speak for you, but, I mean, if somebody mm-hmm. called me, like, uh, a slur, I wouldn't care much, unless, like, it happened every day. That's a different, different well, I think That's why I think it's so funny, it's like, dude, just... You yeah, you got anything else? Literally anything. Some original content. Yeah, man. Get creative. Ooh, you called me the color of my skin. Wow. <laughs> you got anything else, man? Huh? Huh? It's an interesting no? way to think you know? about it. Why do we go back to racism? I need to stop. I'm, uh-huh. I'm this is my fault. I don't know. You're the one who it up. I'm doing this. I'm 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 sabotaging our own podcast. <laughs> Oh, Bress really just wants to have an entire podcast about racism with me, and that's it. <laughs> Let's bring in the he's, sex he's, too. Let's have a female guest on and talk about. There sex you too. go. <laughs> so, how does it feel having a vagina? How does it feel? Be a woman. Is it different than having a penis? I would imagine so. Imagine asking like a person that, and you stand when you pee. <laughs> Can you do oh anything my else? Gosh. All right, let's move on. Can oh, you geez. stand when you pee? <laughs> I mean, yes. I've got to get spunky on Micaiah says. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, what else is there to talk about? Oh man. Did we ever talk uh, about the VTuber graduating? I don't know if we ever talked about that. No, we didn't. I thought we did. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Did we? Yeah, okay. Coco is graduating. She's got like six days left, my dude. Wow. Mm-hmm. So for one of the for, for, for the reasons that is... for reasons that they have that they are trying not to explain or even say. Besides uh, yeah, Coco, I... besides Coco, literally just saying that I'm trying, I'm doing this to keep things good. Mm-hmm. In my own personal opinion, I believe it is a combination of the attacks she's receiving um, for what she did against, quote unquote, China. And um, also, I think she's just getting stifled and she wants to do more like she did. I would say China. she's just stuff more in the lines of like the V Shoujo girls uh-huh. and like just being super lewd and erotic and like cursed. Mm-hmm. And she can't really do that as an idol yeah. <laughs> in a Japanese idol company. Um, it's funny. Has, yeah, she ever, like, has she ever put out like a song or anything like that? Yeah, she's got an original song. I think that just released recently. Oh, really? Um, she's definitely done that. She they were they were in the concert. There's the Holiday of Bloom Festival. She wasn't. Ma- I think the whole of Gen Five, her and her uh, generation mates, they were just like the MCs of the event. Mm. Did do their own performances as well. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I, I didn't know she actually put out a song or anything like that. I didn't think that she'd be one. I didn't think she'd be one of the ones that would actually sing. Yeah. I think so far, there aren't any that haven't sung. I think every one of them has sung. You hear Guru's new song more than others, huh? You hear Guru's new song. I did. It's so good. This shit's bop. It's a bop, baby. This shit's a bop and a half. Yeah, Coco. She's like one of the most influential, at least on the Japanese side. Yeah. She's probably one of the biggest, I, I would argue one of the biggest uh, influencers of bringing the VTuber market to America. No, yeah, of course. 
Because like we had uh we had Jim McCall kiss an eye and like she was big just because people looked at her like wow that's weird moving anime girl wow um but it wasn't until like uh yeah coco was like hey look americans you guys have stupid funny memes give them to me uh, and that's when it really started kind of taking off here yeah in you made this. i in made this countries. you made this i made this i will not stream this yeah <laughs> i'll be right back guys just one second He's leaving. He quit. He's tired. He's tired of the he's yes. tired of the, he's tired of the VTuber uh-huh. talk. <laughs> the racism wasn't enough. It was the VTuber. Like, I hate. Oh the yeah. Anime. Oh yeah. He's like, God, you and your fucking anime filth, get out of here. <laughs> As he says to his anime profile picture, just like everyone else on iFunny. All right, his all right, leave picture. me alone. <laughs> it's, it's even for the heck is Sword Art Online. <laughs> Mm. It's a it's a funny <laughs> picture. It could be from anything, and it would be fine. Yo, is that that I scene? Used... Where Gerudo proceeds to have an entire harem. It is not actually. It's a scene where he gets flipped upside down. Okay, I'll harem? be right back. Okay, okay, he's leaving. <laughs> now he's we can have the race. Oh, back. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of I don't know. I'm upset about it. Like yeah. I don't. I don't sit down and watch a bunch of the, the actual VTuber stuff. Like I, 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 I watch clips here and there, and like every once in a while, yeah, yeah. I'll catch Ina or I'll catch Gura streaming or something like that. Yeah. But it was Coco was one of those ones where like you know that you know you know she's she she's always been there, right? Exactly. Yeah. Even and, though she's literally only been here a year. That's yeah. It, that's how long she's been uh, in the. No, two years. Two years. Has it been two? I think it's only yeah. been one. Has it? No, it was two years. Oh, maybe you're right. Because she was talking about she was talking about it in there. She was talking about it in uh, one of the clips where she where people were asking her about why she's leaving. She's like, "Well, two years I've been here, you know, all the issues that I faced and everything like that, and like trying my absolute mm-hmm. best to make things better for the other girls and whatnot." You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's kind of been like an uphill, like an uphill struggle, stuff like that. Yeah, I no? did see a post uh, somewhere. That the 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 people that were behind the tax are organizing to go against Fubuki next. Don't know the validity of that. Um, people just don't know how to sit down and shut the hell up, right? Yeah. Other people are enjoying themselves. You're just mad because you're not. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's like when people were ddosing fourteen. It's like you just you just mad because no one wants yeah, to play. Wow. Like... <laughs> Man, I still don't understand DDoS attacks. They don't make sense to me. I need to DDoS them because I'm upset that they are having and enjoying themselves. Therefore, I will now ruin that. And, and all the wild content creators coming over too, which is really interesting. Asmogold. Trying it. I didn't hear anything yes. about how, how that's gone. I don't know. I was, I was like super against it for a minute until someone mm-hmm. explained to me, until someone explained to me the actual situation. And I was like, oh. Okay. Okay, that's fine then. Because like what I was, because like what I was inferring from it from like the entire time was that people were like, "Yo, Asmigold's gonna play fourteen. Asmigold's gonna play 14. And I was like, "You guys are acting like he's the second coming of Jesus. <laughs> he's just a, he's just he, he he he's a wow player that's coming over fourteen. Yeah. Wow, interesting. That's crazy. He just wants Ooh, to play. wow. He wants to have fun. Like I like the it, it, like Pete. It's just I wasn't catching the entire. The entire like actual conversation of what of what it was, all I was getting was that people were acting like he was the second coming of Jesus coming to play fourteen, okay. and that that yeah, would be yeah. the biggest thing that happened to fourteen ever. And it's like he just he's just a dude. Shut up. Yeah. So I was like super against it until someone explained to me like, no, it, it's not that. It's they he, people. Some people are doing that because they're fucking annoying, like they always do. Uh, yeah. But but pretty much but pretty much it's been like an ongoing meme throughout his entire like throughout throughout his stuff of him being like. I'm tired of WoW. I hate this game. Uh huh. And then he's been making like a meme, for like I'll go play 14. Haha, I'll play 14. Haha, I'll play 14. I'll go and play your. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, now it's finally happening. People are like, haha, uh-huh. he did it. Yeah. No, the man so, wants to have some fun. No, yeah, that's, that's all I. So, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the kind of person that like I don't, I don't necessarily get on board with a bunch of the dumb I don't get on board with a bunch of stuff that people get on to like 
people act like the fucking like the the end all be all for anything is playing Fortnite. I don't. Be, right hi i'm back yeah and like oh, everyone and, and like everyone else has been like oh it's the yeah. best song in the game and it's like you mean this entire heavy metal franchise <laughs> and you're telling me the j-pop song is the best song in the fr- shut, shut up have shut you up. ever seen baby metal series come on baby metals all right baby i don't have metal. a I don't, I don't i don't have a problem with in, uh poppy poppy's great i don't know who poppy um, is I would, I would I need you to look at Poppy. Poppy is great. Oh, I know it. Never, I know it. Music ever. Wait, is it music? I thought it was just fucking her, just looking at the camera, saying, I'm "No, Poppy. she's an artist. She's a musical artist, and like I'm the Poppy. artist is like sick heavy metal, I'm and Poppy. then just super creepy." I'm Poppy. Heavy metal. I didn't think she that. did heavy metal. I thought she did more. It's great. Here, let me find a a specific song. But yeah, I'm, I... uh, I'm 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 not I'm not the kind of person who enjoys the uh, I, I don't. Like for the longest time, I didn't say swag because people were being fucking annoying. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I say it. Now I say it unironically because I think it's fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Or I, mean, I say, I or I say saying, dab. Uh, dab is great. I keep saying um, pog, and I can't stop. That's not like, like, okay, like the other one. The the other one I thought was like really, really, really funny and really dumb was planking. Yeah, we've we talked about this. Yeah, and I look at yeah, I look at all the white people doing it. It's like, oh, look, planking, and I'm like, Mm-mm. if you knew, you obviously <laughs> don't. You obviously really, really don't. I've been having uh, a slight, I like I've uh, well, sheesh is the, is the one that I've learned recently. Um, because okay, that... the fuck boy face and the sheesh me. Yeah, yeah, I. Jeez. Don't get it. I hate it. It's funny to me. It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> but that, I, yeah, that's something I, that I uh, hate it. <laughs> came from black communities, as far as I understand, like black content creation. The sheesh thing. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it is. Yeah, uh-huh. but I, but I hate it. <laughs> it's really funny. I hate it. It's annoying. I think it's kind of funny. My young cousin, uh, uh I'm a, it's my, cringe, yeah, yeah. My, my 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 youngest cousin, like, I went over to my uncle's house to watch. I'm a, I'm a, to uh, to watch my cousin and his brother, and uh, mm-hmm. like, I love the kid. He's the he's he's one he's one of the few he's one of the few small children that I'm like you're all right. I don't want to hit you. You're good, right? <laughs> uh. Like the very first thing, the very first thing I say, he's like, "Oh, it's you, Dom!" And like he just walks over and, Ooh. yeah. No, he like does the face, and I was like, "I hate you." <laughs> Brass, put some pants on. I got you. See, the, the call me. I can't. I'm what sorry. Mean, what do you mean you can't? I can't. I'm making it all the way to the eighty in this glam. I refused. Oh. I refused. Can you at least put I'm, your job stone on? No, I can't. I literally can't. What? What? Why not? Hey, 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 Comey. 
Um, I'm gonna send you a screenshot. Why are you leveling Puglist and you not Monk? Why is yeah, your helmet I'm level fifty? You... Well, it's level fifty because I'm only doing MSQ. Oh man. Let me send you. Uh, let me send you the screenshot. Oh uh, man. I could have sent it to the podcast channel either way. Oh uh, that's the God. quest. That's my job quest. <laughs> you haven't done a single <laughs> job to... quest. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> uh, so to explain for if anybody doesn't know about 14, uh, Final Fantasy 14, you, you have certain jobs that you start off as. And as you level up, you can, you ha, you earn the ability through your job quests, uh, doing your, your, your quests to equip a job stone, which gives you more abilities, um, for lack of a more in-depth term. I had this... At this moment, I accepted all the quests that I could, and eventually I ran out of job quest spaces. So I deleted some of the ones that um, I wasn't doing at the time or I didn't need to complete soon. Um, but it turns out because I received the items needed for the job quest to complete it, which is the pugilist arms, I could still become a pugilist even though I hadn't completed the quest. So now I'm in this unique position where I can get all the way to 80 without having ever done any of the job quests this is not something many people can say. So now I must do it. So hold on. What, what puts you choice. in this unique position? Well, most people like if they like accept the first job quest, they complete it. So then yes. you're at the level five quest. I'm still at the level one quest. Oh, I see. You like this. You can't go back once you've completed the quest. You can't return it. You, sure. can't, you can't unaccept it. You can't undo it. So I still have the level one one up, and I want to do that. Why are you like this? I, I because can you at least put on easy. pants? Well, that's the other thing is I have to make this as cursed as possible. So I got this claim, and I haven't swapped off since. You're wearing a metal bikini, and a... I am indeed wearing oh a metal my bikini. God, I fight Gaius over and over and over again, looking like this. I... So it's Devon. What do you? What is this? Put your pants back on. <laughs> Put them back on now. Put your pants. But he would say it like, oh, "Put yeah, your that... pants back on." Is this what the Eorzean savages have been teaching you? <laughs> <laughs> you Such are their hero. Well, yeah. If you look at my stream, I'm actually currently queued for Praetorium. I queue exclusively oh, for God. Praetorium. And just do that. Why Ew. do you choose the? Fu <sighs> Please, See, at least for I'm the not love of this, God, put your doing pants this back stupid off. Thing, but because I do lower damage, I'm not subjecting other people to this problem. I'm just doing Praetorium, mm. where you don't really need to do that much damage. Like if I was in dungeons, that's that's disgusting. That's that's gross. That's evil. Sure. But here I am. I feel like it's gross and evil either way. But I guess I'll give you a pass. <laughs> hey, Comey, you want to something funny? What's funny? Uh, so Gaius is uh, English voice actor. Back in A Realm of Born uh -huh. is also Ansem's voice actor. I know, I know. Richard Epcar. <laughs> Richard Epcar. He's also Ansem's voice actor from Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, no, uh, Kingdom Hearts yeah, Kingdom 2 and on, not actually. When oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In Ansem, in Ansem, it's Billy Zane. And then yeah. Kingdom Hearts 2, they were like, let's change the voice actor because I guess he didn't want to come back. Yeah, it's literally darkness, man. Like, that. that's, that's Gaius. I think that's so funny. Darkness, Everything yeah. begins in darkness and also it. <laughs> <laughs> the heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it, consumes it. Such is its nature. Darkness in is the, the end, heart's all true will nature. return to darkness. Keep saying that's not true. Keep harder that, cards that's not true. <laughs> the way he says it. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> the I know now. Without hack. a doubt, the kingdom King of hearts, hearts is light. Is light. Ah. And he's like, Ooh, light, light. <laughs> but how? <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh, man. good. Guys, I, I can turn in my relic right now and finish my relic. I can do it do right it. now. But I, do, I don't know if I should. Because, but why? Why? because you know the glory if I turn in the last, if I turn in these raw emotions, then... Then you can't keep doing the step, right? I can't get any more raw emotions uh, and i have yeah. nine time worn artifacts and and i'm gonna get those I for doing care. the lubrum and if i'm going to then 
be doing Delubrum, I could get emotions from doing Delubrum. Hang on. You only need to do three Delubrums, and then you can turn in your artifact. I, I guess. But then I have to do... Uh... Yes. I, I, uh... What? I guess I was thinking then I'd have to do the loves the memory step too, so that I can. <laughs> so have... then you can accept the time worn memories one again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the time loop, Comey. And then it's just an endless cycle. Welcome to the Final Fantasy One time loop. It never ends. <laughs> An endless <laughs> cycle of battle. Yeah, Delubrum Regine has too. has created a time loop in which I do Delubrum Regine endlessly and to make relics that I, I don't even know if I want. Of course you want them, Comey. Of course. You know, you know what's funny about Final Fantasy 1? What's that? It's also the main ba- story basis for Dissidia. I need to play Dissidia. I need to play Final Fantasy. I need to play a lot of games. Yes, you do. Well, you can start playing them with the new Final Fantasy Pixel remasters that are coming out, not in a bundle, but separately. On your iOS and mobile. I, it's, it, it's, it's Steam and mobile. Steam and mobile. iOS is in there. I am, I am looking at, I'm looking at those, hopefully in a favorable opinion. Yeah, but then you look at the Dragon Quest remakes, and those look so much better. I would love it if they would just like do an Octopath, like an like an Octopath style remake for Final Fantasy One, or just any, any 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 of the any of the other Final Fantasies. Any pixel game, like like an RPG Maker game, would look amazing in an Octopath Traveler type aesthetic. God, if I got Final Fantasy Six and a fucking Octopath Traveler fucking style, oh, it'd be so good, right? Oh, it'd be so amazing. Oh boy, I got joined in a Praetorium with thirty minutes elapsed. Oh, that's, that's lucky. Not a good sign. And that's lucky fucking, though. Let's see uh, where we are. Then I can fucking play Final Fantasy V and talk about how Bart's is racist. Is he? There are no black people on your team. And there are no other black people in that world. Oh. I can't what it won't let me go. Okay, well. And then I can play. Then I can play through Final Fantasy IV again and be and talk about how much I hate Final Fantasy IV. The moon one. The moon people. Oh. I don't enjoy because it it's, it's a fucking love story. Nah. But then, but then, but then Sorry, you look at Final Fantasy. But, but then you look at. I do hate love. I hate all. <laughs> no one is spared of my ire. <laughs> no, but Final Fantasy VIII. Freaking Jonathan like, looking ass. <laughs> uh Final Fantasy VIII is like uh it's a love story. But then also Final Fantasy IX can also be considered a love story because a lot of characters like have like love things going on. Like Ico it get like Ico is in love with is in love with Zidane, but Zidane is also in love with Garnet. Garnet's also in love with Zidane, or at least they get there. And Freya is also looking for her lover that is like lost his his lost his memories because he had not he got like knocked the fuck out at some uh-huh. point, and like it's it's just a lot of back and forth of like love sure, sure. love love. I'm also dead. Love. I live a thousand years, but you're still in love with me because you're sixteen. Love. Oh, <laughs> mm. oh no. I will oh, yeah, say. I... Uh, I will have to leave in just a few minutes. Uh, a little early because my. Grandparents are eating dinner. Oh wow! Okay. I can't believe you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, well then, uh, how how okay? How far along is a couple minutes? Uh, probably like three or four minutes. Mm. I guess we can. Uh, I guess we can call it there then. We're calling it. I. Right. Mm. Well, having this entertaining run of prey that says thirty minutes elapsed. And these are like the fifth people to ever recognize that I don't have a job stone. And they're very mad for some reason. Oh, no. Well, I mean, you joined the one that they like, you, uh, you joined into one that was already in progress. So there's probably a yeah. reason for that. <laughs> they're probably they apparently already hate upset. Me? Oh, oh, really? They hate you? Why do they hate you? What did you do? Oh, uh, because he they don't have a job, job stone or he hasn't done a single job quest. He's like three moves. <laughs> he, could, he could still do <laughs> damage. You, do you literally have any buttons? <laughs> I, 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 I forgot how many it's like eight or something oh my god 
I mean, there was that one time I fucking I queued into Heaven Sword uh, to uh, what was it? Yeah, Dune Sky, and like there was an entire fucking alliance that didn't have job stones. Jesus. And so, I looked at the screen in disbelief of like, what the fuck is going on? I'm gonna look up which ones these are from. Um, which one of these are from quests? I think they're gonna kick me, honestly. I'll really? <gasps> Bro, they sound really mad. I didn't get to join in the in the in the fight because it was in progress when I joined. But uh. goddamn Pew just looking ass motherfucker. No, you know Dobbs don't have an ass motherfucker. I swear to God, I'll kill him. I'll kill him now. You don't have fists of earth or demolish. Nope. Nope. Fists wow. of earth, baby. Uh, which does nothing. <laughs> it makes you faster. Oh, you know what we're gonna you, you, you know what we're gonna do next podcast coming. Huh. And brass, you need to catch up. Okay. We're gonna talk we're gonna talk about Kingdom Hearts. Oh uh, I'm, I'm gonna skip, I guess. <laughs> nope, you're gonna you're, you're gonna catch you up can't you got two weeks. Skip. Yeah, you can play all the Kingdom Hearts in two weeks. Or at least read up on them. And we will and we will explain things to you as they come as they go along. Yeah, <laughs> because Kingdom Hearts, because uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross recently ended, and there's a uh, story stuff. It's uh very interesting that I would like to talk to you about. It coming. certainly is interesting. <laughs> everybody's Xehanort. You didn't realize it, yep. but everybody's Xehanort. We were Xehanort. all Xehanort. Everybody's Xehanort. This one's not a meme. It's actually real now. <laughs> Everyone's Xehanort. <laughs> Oh man! You didn't re- you didn't realize it, but you're also Xehanort. I'm Xehanort. You're Xehanort. He's Xehanort. That's Xehanort. That what about that dog? Convoluted. What about that dog right there? He's also Xehanort. <laughs> Goddamn fly smacks it. You just killed Xehanort. What? <laughs> Xehanort sounds like a convoluted name. Xehanort is an anagram for no heart. Yeah, that's super convoluted. He that has sounds a heart, like he has a heart though. That's actually just aye, not aye, true. Aye. But you can rearrange the letters to have to say no heart with an X. Why is there an X? Because what? Be, Why? Because, because the X. I'm gonna crap on this game so hard next <laughs> podcast, my dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna come at it from like the realize uh, the the the. Uh, I'm looking for the X blade. But also, like it can be called candy. Chi. I, I love that he literally, in that cutscene, like, explains <laughs> that it can be pronounced as key. <laughs> so it's a key blade. He's no, like, it's uh, the key blade. It's, it's the key blade. The it's key a character eye. that can be c- pronounced as key, not to be confused with... Oh, hold on. There you go. Key or Kai. So, yeah. Key blade. Key blade. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't he? Doesn't he literally in the melody of memory fight? He just sh- he just yells Keyblade. Keyblade. Yeah. He just goes Keyblade. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Oh man, the That's way great. the way Love he it. says it. Keyblade. Keyblade. <laughs> There's a guy on YouTube fucking the, the fucking the, the shit post with that. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Okay, I uh, I do need to head out. Um, I apologize. Okay. It is a little earlier than normal, but you know, it's fine. How it is. We weren't we weren't talking about shit in the first place. <laughs> this was kind of a jumbled podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, yeah. it's been like been like that for the past what, three three different podcasts now. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll be we talking but, about Kingdom Hearts next week, though. <laughs> maybe. We'll talk about Kingdom Hearts next week. All right, thanks, I, guys. Brass, Brass, like I said, you're gonna have to read up. I gotta read up. Oh, jeez. Either you can either play through them or you can read up, but you got two weeks. Two weeks to play a Kingdom Hearts game. Oh man, that's easy. 